got to take this video here because we get asked it quite a lot. People ask about, hey, I've got a safety day or a caravan camera, and obviously I've got a reverse camera on my car. Can I get the caravan camera to come on when the caravan camera comes on? And the answer is, oh, yes, you can. So what we use is our two-in-one uh, selector, which will give priority to the uh, master camera, which will be a caravan camera. So if the caravan camera has a video sim on it, it's gonna win and it'll show on your head unit. If it like, doesn't, it is gonna show your car's reverse camera. So uh, basically if you uh, follow your uh, sort of safety day, like monitor back, it's like, probably like an eight pin or whatever caravan like, monitor you currently used to have. And it'll probably split into like a single or two like four pin plugs. So then we just need a four pin to CA adapter, which we have here, which uh, so it gives us one video plug and a power plug. Now out of this a power plug, you just want to give to like a like ACC power source. So we'll do that. Out of this here is a few like sound or like a microphone that camera as well. Majority of people don't, so don't worry about that. The RCA goes into our smart selector into the other uh, master camera. This smart switch also needs ACC power source, so we'll give that to it. Then we come out the other side. This here is where we're going to plug in our car reverse camera into here, and then this. This here is going to go into the back of our head units into our, our video in. What's likely going to happen is if this was unplugged, the car's reverse camera is going to show. If this was plugged in, the caravan camera is going to show. That is how that like works and just like allows you to have the camera like, switch between the two when you go in reverse. And then obviously depending how you set it up, you can also bring it in so you can still view the caravan camera when you're driving. Now the options for that, you could like, double the RCA output out of like this one here, the car camera, and put it into our, our front camera or if it's on our TC it actually will come in by default and I'll like sort of show that a bit later on. So if you had an old screen up here with your caravan sort of reverse camera on, you're probably gonna have some sort of plug like this, but if you follow this plug back, here it's gone, I can see it actually was tucked in here and it's come down to here and you can see it like goes into our like two video inputs, either which sort of video one, video two, which are both sort of four pin and then it's obviously got some power and stuff on it. Uh, so if you always follow it back, you're, you're pretty much always gonna get to like a sort of four pin plug and you can see uh, here it is here going down the uh, door sill and so that is the actual caravan plug we're after so it's always going to be this and we can plug this into our four pin adapter and then into our like, head unit so you can see obviously uh, that would run down here and it's into the back here and then that goes around and then into your just your standard caravan camera which would uh, be up there now the cool thing is uh, so those uh, four pin cables of I uh, used for like a long time so if you did want to uh, update the camera you can just like, pull it off and put a new camera in because if you just like pull that uh, like cable out uh, like that one it's going to be like the four pin cable as well so then we have here that same wire before the other uh, power i've just tapped the plug in here so i've zipped off you can see a uh, negative we've got this coming into our um four pin ask for like the caravan camera um this was that same cable I earlier and then like the output is going into uh, like there and the uh, camera one is uh, coming from the camera so you can see one coming from that bunch the video input and that's the video output so hopefully you can see that there so that one that one here which is the video in for the slave is coming to here and the output is going into our video input. Then you'll see you'll see what will happen here. So you can like, see when reverse, you get the caravan camera coming up and then I'll just unplug this. And then once that's unplugged, like for example, your caravan being unplugged, it goes back to the uh, car camera. So that's how like, it works. The uh, the caravan camera will win when it's hooked in. On the actual like, unit, we have this app here called Cam. Now you'll see it's blank at the moment because that's the caravan camera isn't in. Um, but if, like, for example, this is just like me. I plug in the coil cable at the back when I put that in. There's a the caravan camera. So you'll be able to view that when you're uh, driving along. And even to the point where you can, you just got to do it as the second option. You can have a like, split screen, so the caravan camera in the bottom. And we've got some music coming up here, direct music. Basically how it works is you jump in the car, car play that coming up split screen. Obviously when you first jump in, if you didn't have a split screen coming up, you'd probably would have popped up to CarPlay or like Android Auto. Click and hold on here. You just want the cam one. Now if you don't have cam open, you can just click home and you'll either have it here or down in your apps here. So you see that's the cam one that you're after. We click that and you'll see, cool, again, your caravan camera up and when you're driving along as a, a rear view camera. Put the car in reverse and caravan camera's gonna win. We can actually turn off those extra guidelines there that are popping up. We shouldn't really have those coming in. Just under dynamic guideline. Now you 
obviously when we come into reverse don't have those coming up so that's the caravan camera lights are winning again into here long tap on here choose our cam map and you've got Ala both Ala coming out and then I'll show you what will happen if we come out the back here and we go oh caravan's no longer plugged in and pulled it out now that cam map is going to be blank so you can see it's blank so all right cool not much point having uh, that happening so go back to like full screen and then when you come into reverse you're uh, back to your car camera so that is how that all that works so we've got uh, like a two-in-one switcher and like a four pin and we just explained how that's all wired up before